What is up, everybody? It is Cheese Stuff. Welcome back to NASCAR Racing 2003 and The Adventures of Mitch Fassberg. Um, We last left off in Bristol, where Mitch Fassberg got the pole and led every single lap. Um, link up there if you want to watch that. Um, <clears throat> and we are now at the halfway point of the season. Uh, we're here at Texas for the Coca-Cola 300. Um, and we are going to see if we can't get a fourth win in five races. So, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to be informed on every single time one of these videos come out. Um, I try and do weekly videos at least every Monday, sometimes more. Um, that's why you need to hit the bell to be notified. If there's more. Um, but until then, we're going to get into it. So, let's go ahead and jump in. News here at Texas Motor Speedway. Championship contender and three-time winner this year, Mitch Fassberg, wrecked in qualifying hard at a turn two. He will be going to a backup car. He was checked and released from the care center. It's going to be a tough day to start from the back for Mitch Fassberg. All right, I'm definitely going to take that one on me. Uh, we carried a little too much speed into the corner. I overestimated what the car could do. Did not stick. And uh, back in the wall quite hard. I'm all right, though. We got, uh, we got a great safe car. Um, and the backup car that we had was honestly almost ready off the shelf, off the truck. But uh, the guy stayed up a little late last night, got some work done to it, and she should be better than our original one. So this isn't what we need for our points battle right now, especially at the halfway point of the season in such a short season. But we're just going to make the best of it here, see if we can't come away with a good points day. So we're battling back here with the people that we were lapping, essentially, in Bristol. Getting in the brakes a little early there. I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. These uh, these guys back here scare me a bit. I don't want to be too dumb and too aggressive like I was about to be there. But we need to get some work done. I feel kind of trapped. We go up to the high side here on accident, but we're gonna just roll with it because it worked. Carry the speed off. Go to the bottom. Oh yes. Oh yes, baby. Don't. You son of a bitch. Seven of Reed. Oh, whoa, whoa. I don't know if I made contact or just got loose there, but the seven of Reed totally tried chopping my nose off. Lost a lot of momentum there. Let me go back up to the top. Get that momentum back. Almost lose the car off the corner there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh. I'm trying to do my best here. We need to have a good points day. We need to do better than Kansas. We're only 10 points back going into this. <sighs> a little stressful, not gonna lie. A little stressful. But again, we got a great Kmart little Caesar Chevy here. These Phoenix Racing Boys know what to do. I just need to hold up my part. I let them down in qualifying. And we're gonna. Ooh, we're gonna come back. Not like having a part of the outside of it. I'm not making the most ground. I just lost the nose when I got behind the six. Now I'm losing the rear. Holy fuck. 
<sighs> I don't like this car, how it's handling and traffic is not any better. I need to stop trying to enter so low into the corner. I need to go back to the top. This thing likes the top. And then carry the momentum up there. I'm in 33rd, man. Good job, buddy. We gotta do something. Here we go. There we go. Get that momentum. Don't try and pass the 11. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, they're a wreck behind me. I just caused a wreck. Oh, I feel bad. I'm the bad guy. Oh no. Ugh. I'm so sorry. So I had a really good run on the top. I decided not to take it. And then I went to go move to the inside and made a little contact with the 11. He came down into the 6. And just them two, but... Oh, damn. All right. So we're about to restart with 10 laps to go. We're currently sitting in 31st. We got a lot of work to do. We got hella cold tires. Coming to the green, buddy. Coming Hopefully to the everyone green. else Let's does too. Don't pass before the line. Be ready. Oh, trying to trying to warm it up with the brakes and it really was not doing shit. Weaving, doing all kinds of shit under the caution. And just nothing. Nothing was warming these tires up. You think the hot Texas sun would have done something. I'm going to use a little bit of brake getting into the corner just to make sure we don't do what we did in qualifying. Getting loose out of the corner there already. Had to lift. Nine to go. Still no positions gained here. Oh, a little too high there. Up by the wall. Trying to get a little aggressive here because we're running out of laps, man. We're running out of laps. And this is not conducive to a good championship run. This is worse than Darlington. Making this top side work though, I just need to not go as high. Come on. Come on, baby. You just slowed down. I like it. Thank you. Oh, it's getting warm in this room. This wheel, the fan's on on the wheel. It's pumping out heat. My computer's pumping out heat. I got lights on me. Those are pumping out heat. And I'm trying to wheel this thing around, and it's getting stressful. Come on. Tires are warm. Just fucking pin it and go. We need to get a good finish. Mm. A little agitated now behind the wheel. Mitch not getting as patient as he was at Bristol. Five laps left. Drifting up too high here. In contact with the wall. Patty Mayonnaise trying to wreck us. We got him in the 32. It's all going down behind us. Another crash kind of caused by us. That might end the race. That was kind of possibly a big one there. Oh, 
Definitely gonna have to check a replay of that one. That one was, I think, a bit bigger than the others. So I had a good run up high, but you can clearly tell I'm carrying too much speed. We make a little contact off the wall. We come down into the 14, hook the 32, and oh, yeah, the 57 got involved. Ooh. Yeah, it was a bit of a bigger one there. Let's get a better view of that. On board with the roof cam, Jimmy Johnson here. He went for a wild ride into the 57 and then bam right here gets hit and barrel rolls two times slides on the driver's side and comes to a rest and with that we take the white flag under caution One more time, buddy. One which more time. means Great. this Come race up. will indeed end under caution 22nd And with that, the checkered flag flies, and the man leading the points, Matt Kenseth, wins the race. And we finish 22nd. I'm hoping that this actually comes out because my computer actually froze right after I realized there was only going to be one lap to go. And we were still under caution. So hopefully. Hopefully we're still here and I can do the outro. So, I don't know. Terrible race though. I'm so sorry. So sorry to the guys. Um, they put in so much effort and I just, I just ruined it. Um, so, thank you everyone in the Phoenix Racing Group. Um, Kmart, Little Caesars everybody there who uh, who supports us and um, look, we'll go out there next week and get them don't worry this is just a blip in the radar well that was a bit of a disappointment for Mitch Fassberg um, terrible in qualifying had a whoopsie and then uh, just an awful race two cautions it was it was a mess both of them caused by me too so um, I want to apologize to everybody for that. And uh, I guess let's just get on to the, to the finishing results here. <sighs> I'm sad. So uh, Matt Kenseth won the race, led every single lap. So his top five streak is continuing. Top three streak, honestly. Uh, Jeff Burton finished second. Jimmy Spencer, Todd Bodine, Mark Martin, Elton Sawyer, Dale Jr., Kevin LePage, Michael Waltrip, Robert Presley, and Jeff Purvis finished 13th. I finished 22nd. So that's your top 10 plus my teammate and me. I'm going through this fast because I'm sad. Six cars DNF'd. All thanks to me. I apologize again. Uh, the two cautions, which it ended under caution. First race this season to end under caution. Um, checking the points. Uh, we've got uh, Matt Kenseth still in the lead. He has extended his lead by 30 points now. To a 40-point deficit over now Jimmy Spencer, who's in second. Um, Jeff Burton in third, 71 points back. I have dropped back to fourth, 98 points back. Todd Bodine in fifth, 99 points back. Real close between us. Um, Kevin LePage, sixth, 125 points back. Dale Jr., seventh, 132 points back. Mark Martin, eighth, 148 points back. And Elton Sawyer and Jeff Purvis swap positions. Elton Sawyer is now 9th, 196 back. Jeff Purvis, 10th, 218 back. I hope that the next race is a little bit better for Mitch. Um, I forgot to write down some stuff on the calendar, but it's okay. Because I believe I have a picture of it here. And we're going to throw a picture of it right up over here. So, um... Up next is Nazareth Speedway. Ooh, that's going to be a fun one. I played that 
with um what was it the feather lights the um uh the modifieds of the feather light modified series back then um in one of the nascar games on that speedway it's a triangle uh then we go to lowe's watkins Glen for the only road course of the season we head to my home state of Virginia for South Boston Speedway, and then we'll round out the season in Atlanta. So, going to Nazareth, don't really know what to expect there, so uh, make sure you tune in, subscribe, hit the notification bell, like the video if you did, and uh, yeah, come back next time.